Hey YouTube, this is Reddy MC Luck coming live to you with yet another StarCraft 2 custom map. This one is called The Card Game and it's made by Clord. It is basically a StarCraft card game where you are two sided against each other, three on three or four on four, and then you send these cards at the cost of Vesping Gas, which you get at every moment that you're playing the game. So yeah, that's basically it. Also, after having passed the middle of the map, you get Terracene resource, which is displayed to this top right corner of the screen. With Terracene, you can use upgrades for your units, which makes them a whole lot more powerful. As you can see, there are many different cards. Like they have abilities like flying, which means that yeah, the same in max your ground units can regularly attack them, or they can have long range versus anti-air and all sorts of other things. Now, I decided to cast this map because it's a quick one. It doesn't take a while to get through. Like, I can still only upload like 15 minute videos with my YouTube account, which is why that normal games are not suited right now since they can drag on like 40 to 30, 50 minutes. And I'm not allowed to do that. So, by all means, please watch this. As you can see, they have put, made a strong push from the left. Also, I need to pick up one of these. You can use these special items, special powers. I'll do a double team. The purple units are mine. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, you can use this for 500 power. You can see the power meter up here, which is just improving and improving and growing stronger. It give, can either use 50, 500 to give you 50 Vespine gas. As you can see, 50 is a lot. Also, you can use this to gain plus 75 Terracene. Terracene is not that good, it's simply used for upgrades. Or you can do a nuke for 1500, which is a full meter, and it wipes out everything that is normally only used as a finishing move. Now then, I might seem to suck in this film, but that's because I am trying to cast this to you. I'm trying to show you what the game looks like from a, uh, a spectator's, a spectator's um, yeah. point of view. Yeah, perspective. Yeah, you know what I mean. So yeah, we are moving out, and I'll be doing an attack upgrade for this, but I can't since it's too expensive. So let's do a health point upgrade for it, making it stronger. Also, you can see, just to explain the cards, they have a certain amount of attack, which is displayed in the left corner of this little box, and they have defense, which is displayed in the right corner of this little box. I'm going to try to stack up my stone salad now, because it's extremely powerful, although it is at the cost of 135 gas, and as I can see, I'm playing with my brother yet again, he just picked up a mothership, which cost 150. We'll try to stack this up the fastest we can, because if we can manage to unload these two beasts at the same time, we should have a lot of an easier time winning this fight. Also, you might notice the sound is improving now, but that's because I just lifted up my microphone to my mouth as I don't actually need my keyboard for this. There are no hot keys. So, yeah. We keep pushing, they keep pushing stronger, but that is because neither me or my brother are actually using anything, which means we have only one on our team fighting right now. That is a bad thing. Right until my brother unleashes the hybrid destroyer, which gets torn to pieces by a void race. Void race are evil to hybrid destroyers. I'll do a phoenix just to distract some of their units. Or a marine as well. Oh, another marine. We can... Yeah, we can do the cheap ones when stacking up using cheap units I find very effective. Because then you can do this. Just give them more attack power and they'll be able to knock out a few of the opponent's units. Also, again, if you hear weird sounds in the background, it's because my friend Andreas is playing Nightcast on the original Xbox. Or is he? Yeah, he still is. Now, the cellar is ready. So let's unleash it. Stone cellar, I summon you. He should be able to do a lot of damage to them. Also, we should guard him very much. So start spamming, bro. Let's get them down. Let's defend that salad with stalkers and alike. A brute lord with a speed boost. So that it'll actually manage to chase him. That siege tank is going to hurt severely. He is going down. The salad is going down, but it did manage to get a strong push onwards. They now have a battle cruiser and three roid rays. I see at least three roid rays. Yes, three roid rays along with a siege tank, which are incredibly powerful units. I do not believe this is going to turn out well for us. Now, one of my main problems with this map is the fact that it's mostly based on luck, as 
yeah, you can get levels in this map like you could with the last stand, which allows you to improve the deck of cards that you're using to play with. But I have never once gained another rank past the defensive deck, which is the first you get. You never pick random or drag of all trades with has a bit of everything. Where of course everyone picks random because there you'll have the highest chance of actually getting something useful. So I, I don't really see I, I don't know, if someone has another deck, please send me a video file with it and I'll gladly do a replay commentary with it, because I would really like to see what the other decks look like. I have no idea. Let's do a Goliath. Defend against that Archon. Archons are evil, evil creatures. We are going to lose this. Our command center is going down. It is going down heavily. We need to spawn units, so I'll do this special beam thingy and get some more units on the field. We need them now. So we use your special power as well, get us some Vespine and start circling out some defense. Yeah, we face defeat. An honorable defeat. Actually, it sucked. <laughs> well, anyways, thank you for watching this YouTube. I shall be back at another time, at another point in time. Good game.